you miss, you're going to miss out on deals. You're going to miss out on opportunities. And then you wonder why your wife has to go and work and do these things. And you, neither one of you could spend enough time with your kids that you want to. And you don't have time freedom for your families because you procrastinated by being a little you're too afraid to ask. You're too afraid to ask for help. You're too afraid to tell people what you do. You don't want to be pushy. You don't want to be a sleazy car salesman instead of just going out there and putting yourself out there, putting yourself in the freaking game instead of being and What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we're talking about getting some. I don't know if you can see the whole shirt, but it says get some, meaning stop procrastinating, stop holding back, stop bullshitting, stop waiting, stop delaying. As men, we procrastinate. We're going to dive deep into that today. And before we even get started, I want to make it clear that as we're talking about this today, like procrastination and all these topics we talk about every week, I'm doing these, this, these videos just as much for myself and my own knowledge, my own growth, and my own self-mastery than I am for you. And I, I hope you obviously get a lot out of this and, and, and take the steps and implement the shit that we talk about every week. But I'm telling you right now, I get just as much out of this myself, and I learn just as much myself, and it helps me improve and get even better every day. Because sometimes we got to dig in. Sometimes we got to talk shit. And I'm talking to men usually out there, and it sounds like I'm just talking shit to men. I am talking in this camera like I'm talking to the mirror. I'm talking to myself. So when I'm talking about this procrastination and everything else, it's as much of a boosting of the confidence and the, the mastery of myself than it is for you. So keep that in mind. And something else that I have for you, I want to just mention right off the bat, make sure you check down in the notes below for the freakmode40.com. Go to freakmode40.com. You can get full, complete, free access to a $200 course, the Freak Mode 40, which is the daily discipline, habit, and accountability challenge. Completely free, just for being a follower of the podcast. It's a free course. You'll have access to it for the entire 40 days to build up these habits so you can stop procrastination. We're talking about procrastination. I want to give you something right off the bat to help you with your procrastination because I know if I deal with myself, I'm assuming you also do as a man. And here's one of the solutions to bring order to that chaos and stop procrastinating. It's the Freak Mode 40. Check it out. I'll put it down in the, in the description below, but also as a comment with the link in the comment so you have no excuse for procrastination going forward with the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit and Accountability Challenge. And so let's dive into this idea of procrastination. And what is procrastination? First of all, procrastination overall is the enemy of progress. And it's the, the freaking silent killer of your dreams. Now, let the, the primary reason that we as men procrastinate is usually due to our screwed up perceptions are our misconceptions about what is valuable and what's in our control. And we just did an episode on being a control freak, what we can control versus what we can't control. And procrastination, a lot of times we procrastinate because we think we don't have control over something or it's not in our control. So we just put it off and let, let's go into a quote. And we, uh, we use a lot of stoic quotes in here. So Seneca, this quote by Seneca said, putting things off is the biggest waste of life. It snatches away each day as it comes and denies us the present by promising the future. The greatest obstacle to living is expectancy, which hangs upon tomorrow and loses today. You are arranging for what lies in fortune's control and abandoning what lies in yours. What are you looking at? To what goal are you straining? The whole future lies in uncertainty live immediately. Like break that down, listen to that and listen to that word for word, but just the, the first part of that right off the bat, putting things off is the biggest waste of life. It snatches away each day as it comes and denies us the present by promising the future. Think about that. We put it off. And right as we we're getting set to record this episode in between, we, we record a bunch of episodes in one day, like Tuesdays, once a month, we just batch record tons of episodes and videos in between, we go get a drink and stretch out and stuff and get set up for the next episode. And in between, Tyson's, Tyson asked me, my cameraman that I'm sure is watching to pay, pay attention to my camera to make sure it doesn't cut off mid, 
video. He says, so what's the next episode on? And I said, procrastination. He says, oh, why don't we do it tomorrow? The sad part is he didn't realize that he, he was being serious. He didn't even realize how he was trying to procrastinate. And he's like, oh, I thought it was funny. No one, because I didn't laugh. I just gave him a dirty look and we were ready to start brawling there in the middle of the kitchen while we were supposed to be drinking water. But it was actually pretty pretty sharp. For, I'll give him credit. It was actually something sharp that you came with on the fly. Working on, we're working on his sharpness and humor a little bit. So that was actually pretty good because it was right on the fly, right without losing a step. He said, let's record it tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, let's get back into this about understanding procrastination. Procrastination is not a habit. Or it, it, sorry, it is a habit. It's not a personality trait. It's just a habit that we choose. It's a decision we make. And this is the, it costs you opportunities. It costs you time. It costs you energy. It co- co- costs you missing deadlines and missing those opportunities. And when you miss deadlines and you miss opportunities and you don't step up to the plate, you don't show up the way you're supposed to show up or you don't get things done that you say you're supposed to get done, you're not a man of your word, you are breaking trust, you're breaking reliability, you're breaking your own uh, trust with your, your people, you are no longer reliable. It's, it's spill, procrastination is spill time. We talk about kill, skill, and chill all the time and I just spoke about this on stage in Arizona at a big event, BK Live. And after the event, we were on our chill time. And chill time is a lot of times where you have these breakthroughs and have these downloads from the universe into your into your brain, into your subconscious. And you come up with these new ideas. And I realized, all right, there's kill, skill, and chill. There's a whole episode on that. You can go watch that. But then we realized there's a spill time. It's where you are wasting time and bleeding energy and oozing out your energy and your time and getting distracted. That's what procrastination is. Procrastination is spill time. You are just wasting energy and time and freaking life and ruining your legacy and ruining your credibility. And it's where where you procrastination and this spill time leads you to not be where you want to be in life, leads you to be broke and fat and unhealthy and have the shitty relationships. Seneca also said, how late it is to begin, how late it is to begin really to live just when life must end. How stupid to forget our mortality and put off sensible plans to our 50th and 60th years, aiming to begin life from a point at which few have arrived. Like we are, we, we wait to start living. We put things off. Oh, I'll get to that. I'll be happy when I make this amount of money or I'll start living life of freedom and a life on my own terms. I'll start doing the shit I want to do once I retire. When I'm old and shriveled up, freaking raising at like 70 years old or whatever and all broken down and all this other stuff, they're going to start living life of happiness and fulfillment. Like what the fuck are you waiting for? And I want to ask you, where in life are you procrastinating? And how is it affecting you? How is it affecting your life? How is it affecting your credibility? How is it affecting your family and your relationships and your personal life and your legacy? Now, if there's things you know you're supposed to be doing in business, you know you're supposed to be making a certain amount of phone calls to leads, and the follow-up phone calls or calling leads or scheduling appointments or asking for reviews to your current clients, asking for referrals, but you're a little, it's uneasy, it's uncomfortable and you don't want to do it. And you procrastinate making the phone calls because they're hard and you get rejected and 99 out of 100 don't answer and the one that does, they hang up on you and tell you to leave you alone so you stop making calls or you procrastinate and you push it off. But then you complain that your wife has to work. Neither one of you gets to see your kids. Your kids are in daycare. You only get to see your kids at nighttime when you get home and you're tired because you fucking procrastinated and you just are destroying your own life, energy, and legacy because you were being a little bitch. You were procrastinating and you were living in that spill time instead of just getting shit done. And... Like I've I've dealt with procrastination. I have a online fitness program, obviously the IFFF, the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula. It's the last training program you'll ever need. And I I started recently just thinking about, all right, I'm finally going to get around to putting some time into it. And I started reaching out to people I know that have either coaching groups or companies or businesses to have them implemented into their business, into their coaching group, into their companies, 
into their team members. And one guy that I've reached out to, he's like, that's a great idea. I wish I would have known about this before because we just signed a contract with a, for all of our, this whole division of, of hundreds of different divisions for this other fitness program to, to, uh, to supply the fitness needs of this, all these different groups, which leads to hundreds, probably thousands of people and is now under contract with someone else. So I couldn't get in on that deal. And that was my freaking fault for procrastinating, for waiting, for thinking, oh, they're not going to want this. They're not going to need this. I can't, I don't want to ask people for stuff. So you miss, you're going to miss out on deals. You're going to miss out on opportunities. And then you wonder why your wife has to go and work and do these things. And you neither one of you can spend enough time with your kids that you want to. And you don't have time freedom for your families because you fucking procrastinated by being a little bitch. You're too afraid to ask. You're too afraid to ask for help. You're too afraid to tell people what you do. You don't want to be pushy. You don't want to be a sleazy car salesman instead of just going out there and putting yourself out there, putting yourself in the freaking game instead of bullshitting and procrastinating. So how do we beat this procrastination? First, you have to understand why you procrastinate. Then you have to put strategies and daily disciplines and habits into into place and apply them before that procrastination gets its nasty, grimy, bitch-ass claws into you. Because procrastination, most men think it's, oh, I have trouble with time management. I procrastinate because I have trouble with time management. I get overwhelmed. I get burned out and all this other stuff. But you don't have procrastination with time or you don't have a problem with time management. You have a problem with energy management and with fucking you, with you management, not time management. Procrastination is definitely a thief of time, but that's not what's causing it. It's you are causing it and your lack of managing your energy is causing it. It doesn't come from poor time management. It also comes from your negative emotions, your negative thoughts that hijack your mood. You're moody. You're a man. You're not supposed to be freaking moody or hangry or under the weather or all these other things that cause you to procrastinate. You're not in the right mood to complete a certain task so you don't do it. Now, that's why it's energy management. If you put things in the right place in your day that you're going to do when you have a maximum amount of energy for that type of task, so everything is strategically placed on your calendar, that's energy management. That is not time management. You're managing your energy so that you don't procrastinate, so you can get shit done. But there's no room as a man, as a husband, as a father, as a leader for being moody. I'm moody. Little bitches are moody, okay? Not you. We have no time for that. There's no place for that in your manhood. Like, How long are you going to wait before you step up in the game, put yourself out there, before you demand the absolute motherfucking highest version, ass-kicking, badass motherfucking version of yourself? How long are you going to wait until you put that dude in the game? But you procrastinate, you push it off. No time for that. And... You need a battle plan to, to battle this procrastination because it's a real thing. It, it does dig into you. That's why I said, I, I started this off by saying, I want to make it clear. I'm talking to myself in the mirror in this camera because this is all towards myself. I'm saying every one of these things myself, I gave you that example of myself about losing out on a major deal with the fitness program with, due to my own bitch ass procrastination. So we need a battle plan to prioritize our tasks, to define what must be done versus what can wait. There are things... There is strategic, I don't want to say procrastination, but there are strategic things of, all right, it's right now we're in the end of September and there's probably some projects I had for the year that are just not going to get to this year because other things were a higher priority, but they're still now there and you're still thinking, shit, I didn't get to this. I got to still squeeze it in for the year. I'm going to strategically, consciously weaponize that procrastination and say, all right, I'm going to put this off till next year because it's just not meant to be this year. There's other things that were a higher priority. So I'm going to prioritize these tasks and I'm going to break these tasks into smaller pieces. I'm going to reverse engineer them and just stack the small wins so I can keep building momentum and keep getting even better and better and better every day, sticking to my daily disciplines, my foundationals, my non-negotiables and stop making freaking excuses. Stop making the excuses of, oh, I don't know where to begin. Or uh, I'm too distracted, I'm overwhelmed, or I'm burned out, or maybe it's too easy, so I'm procrastinating. It's just I don't. I could get. I'll, I could do it at the last minute, or maybe it's too hard. That's why I'm procrastinating. I'm not good enough, or maybe I don't like it, or maybe I don't have what it takes. All these are just bullshit excuses of man to not do the hard shit, or to 
have a little boo-hoo, a little sob story to get some attention. It's really a little, it's bullshit stories you're telling yourself in your head. These are things that you can absolutely freaking control that you are not controlling. We talked about that in the previous episode. Make sure you go listen to that about the self-control, about the, the control freak. And so why do we procrastinate? Why the hell do we do it? When we know we ha- you have complete control over this procrastination. Everything we're talking about is you have complete control. We still keep pushing shit off. And it's like a psychological warfare when you talk about what you can control versus what you can't control, the stories you're telling yourself in your head, the self-beliefs and negativity versus the positivity, all this other stuff. It's like psychological warfare. You need to identify the triggers that are making you put things off and accept that some shit's going to be uncomfortable and start embracing it and start diving into it and looking for the uncomfortable stuff and embrace the freaking suffering and dive into it head first when normally you'd run the other direction or push it aside or wait or procrastinate because procrastination is just feelings. It's just moods. I don't feel like it. I'm a little moody. What are you laughing at Tyson? I don't feel like it. I I'm afraid. I don't know how to deal with success. I'm afraid to fail because mommy and pappy used to yell at me when I failed and make me feel bad about myself because I'm a mental fucking midget. Or you wait till it's going to be perfect. Perfectionism leads to procrastination because we, oh, it's not right. I'm not ready yet. I'll do this when. I'll do this when I get this done. Perfectionism leads to procrastination. Or I'm over too overwhelmed to get started on this right now. Or I'm just fucking lazy or bored. Um, You're bored. You are afraid of hard work. You're allergic to the the four letter word of W-O-R motherfucking K. You have those stuck in that negative self-talk loop in your head. You aren't able, you have a a low level of resilience and tolerance for pain and tolerance for adversity. Or you claim you don't know where to start. Like these are all feelings that you fucking control, but you're probably letting other people or other situations control for you, just like we talked about in the Control Freak episode uh, just a little bit, a little while back. Procrastination will Screw up your ability to make decisions. Marcus Aurelius said, remember how long you've been putting this off. How many extensions the gods gave you and you didn't use them. At some point, you have to recognize what the world it is that you belong to. What power rules it from what source you spring that there is a limit to the time assigned to you and if you don't use it to free yourself, it will be gone and never return. Like, holy shit. Here's some smart dudes thousands of years ago in robes and sandals and here we are. I'm not ready. I'm not good enough. I'm afraid. I once struck out and lost the game in fucking Little League in second grade. So now here I am, a 50-year-old fucking man, afraid to go after and lead my fucking family because I struck out in Little fucking League. Like, holy shit. Remember how long you've been putting this off. How many extensions the gods gave you? How many opportunities were fucking thrown your way and you didn't use them? And if you don't use it to free yourself now, it will be gone and never return. Like, fuck, man. Get off your ass. Get in the game. Start making shit happen. So I want to ask you, I want to have you ask yourself and write on this and journal on this. Where in life are you procrastinating? Where are you missing the boat? Where are you not prioritizing? And then why are you procrastinating? What's your fucking excuse? And what are you going to do about it today? And there's, I'm going to put in the, the description down below. It's a procrastination self-reflection test. I'm not going to go through the whole thing here, but I'm going to put it down in the, in the bottom on the description where it's an actual test. You're going to score yourself and it's going to show you where are you. And I'll run, I mean, I can run through some of them real quick, but I don't want to spend too much time. on it. There's like 15 or 20 different points to score yourself on, but it's really a test to see, all right, where am I really to, to shine some light on? Where are you really procrastinating? What are you avoiding? And why are you avoiding it? So we can have a starting point of where to start, where to go from here. So 
Take the, I'm going to put that test below and the scores and how to score yourself on it. But it's time to take control of your fucking mood and your energy and your life and your legacy. So figure out what is this procrastination telling you? When you start looking at take this test that's in the description below, figure out why. Why are you freaking procrastinating? Procrastinating is trying to tell you something. Tell you something important about why you're not in the mood or why you're not feeling like it or you don't have what it takes. It might just be telling you you need a fucking break. And you need to go and eat something or you're dehydrated. It might be telling you something simple like that. Or it might be telling you something deeper and more complex that you're just stressed out and you're in a career for 20, 30 years that you fucking hate and you're miserable and it's affecting your relationships at home with your family. It might be something deeper than that. and You're not able to live the lifestyle you want to live and, and the work you're doing is not in alignment with your goals. Maybe that's what procrastination is telling you, but it's telling you something. So you need to start fucking listening and start diving deep into this. That's why the meditation and the journaling and the visualization, all the things we talk about all the time, those bare bones, foundational daily disciplines are going to help with this procrastination. And then it's time to just jump in. It's time to stop. That's why we say kill. That's what kill means. We did a whole episode on kill months back, maybe like almost a year ago. And it's all about just jumping in. Just three, just kill, just get after it. Not waiting, not hesitating, not procrastinating. The more you get scared of it, the more you fear, the more you're afraid to get on that big stage, the more you're afraid to get in the trenches and on the field and in the game, boom, kill, and you freaking get after it. Just jump in, start right now, no matter what, get it started. And then enjoy the process, enjoy the progress. That's how you build motivation and momentum, internal motivation and and momentum by enjoying that journey, enjoying the stress and the struggles and knowing that it's hardening you and forging you into a man of fucking resilience. Remove the bullshit obstacles that are mentally blocking you and those will end up moving the physical obstacles. Once you remove the mental obstacles, the physical obstacles just get fucking destroyed or you realize they didn't even exist in the first place because they were all in your freaking head. And sometimes this might mean removing those physical obstacles like the environment that you're in where you're getting distracted. Get control of yourself and and remove those distractions. Take control of your self-talk. Have boundaries with other people. Have boundaries with yourself. Have boundaries with your self-talk. This is what it freaking takes to beat procrastination. Hold yourself accountable. Shift the mindset uh, like we're talking about. Have manage your energy a little bit better in your prioritization and the way you deal with setbacks. So again, figure out why you're procrastinating. Get rid of the negative self-talk. Stack the wins and reward yourself and give yourself a little fucking credit. Have some gratitude and, and, and review your victories and stack those small wins. Manage your energy by doing things at the peak energy times of day. Focus on one freaking task at a time so you're not getting overwhelmed and you're easier to prioritize one freaking thing at a time. Get the hard shit done. Intentionally do hard shit. Do hard shit all the time. Do them at the time you have maximum energy for that type of of event. Use time blocking like we talk about all the time in our productivity to bring order to the chaos. Prioritize your tasks and and your projects. Go off of whatever works for you, a to-do list, a calendar, whatever. But just get in the freaking game. Small little steps, small little tasks, stack the small wins. Avoid the work you don't want to be doing that you don't like and you're not good at. That will make you procrastinate. You're doing work you don't like and you're not good at. You shouldn't be doing. Fucking delegate that shit. Get rid of it. Get it off your plate. Get rid of distractions. Get rid of environmental distractions. Get rid of digital distractions. Get rid of human distractions. Get rid of your distractions in your freaking head. Eliminate the unnecessary tasks you don't need to be doing. Set guide, set deadlines and hold yourself accountable to them. Be a man of your word and get shit done so you're not procrastinating and missing those freaking deadlines. And then review and reflect on a weekly basis. There's been a whole other episode on that. A daily and weekly debrief where you are doing a pretty much a self audit on yourself, your goals, what worked, what didn't work, what, where did you not have the right amount of energy for the week and recalibrate so the next week you can have even more energy and you can make it even better every freaking day. So you need to start thinking about procrastination is robbing you from the moment, which means if it's robbing you from there right now, in this moment, this present moment, it's robbing you of your future. It's robbing you of your legacy. It's robbing you of your time freedom for your families. And this procrastination is beaten with work, 
with daily disciplines, with action, with focusing on the things you can control. And you need to realize it's just a freaking habit. It's just a feeling and you have complete and absolute control over it. And if you want help, again, like I said in the beginning, to overcome this procrastination, go to freakmode40.com. I'll put the link down below. I'll also pin it in the comments down below with the actual link so you can tap into it. So Freak Mode 40, a 40-day daily discipline and habit challenge that absolutely will help you completely destroy procrastination. It's a $200 course, completely free, just for being a listener of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. It's all part of the Freak Father Alliance men's mentorship group coaching program where I help entrepreneur fathers and men develop a no excuses mindset so that they could build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning, so they can attack, attack their mission as a man and create their ideal lifestyle with time, freedom for their families. That's a Freak Father Alliance. If you want any more information about that, just put a comment down below. But check out freakmode40.com completely free 40-day daily discipline and habit challenge and accountability course, completely free for listening to the show. I want to hear how your experience is with the Freak Mode 40. I want to hear about the things you're procrastinating about, and I want to hear the actions you took after listening to this episode to beat the bitch-ass procrastination that you've been operating with as a man. I want to hear about it. Put it in the comments down below. I will see you next time on the Steve Eckert Show podcast, and in case no one told you yet today, you are freaking awesome. No excuses.